and the train when we begin the 20 point reading. <laughs> There's the train. Hi guys and gals, welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi, hello. My name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube, also known as Kimber Kiss. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. We're going to pull a Twin Flame reading today. And we're pulling from a few different decks. We're pulling from Atlantis Oracle Cards by Maria Alita, The Enchanted Nap by Colette Bear Reed, The Wisdom of the Oracle by her as well, and then the Energy Value, the Energy Oracle Value Cards. <laughs> Sandra Ann Taylor. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's dig in there. The train's going. Divine emphasis from spirit. So if you're new to my channel, journey. Journey. Door to healing. Angel of love. Woman holding a heart. Angel of strength. Attachment. Everything's just coming out right now. Community. Fifth chakra. Action thinking in and adjacent possibilities time travel with the patience in the clock so yeah I've been getting these essences and energies of time travel a lot um, also healing modalities like working on healing yourselves because this is part of the journey this is the journey of duality duality here contrast white and black shadow and light Okay, releasing attachments. I feel like a lot of you will start releasing things that you were attached to. This is because this is a five. This means change. A change of letting go of attachments in this journey that you're going on. I also feel like there's a door to personal healing and happiness that is just open for you, but it feels kind of heavy at this time because you are purging and releasing a lot. This goes for the whole entirety of the collective as we have community here right underneath. So it isn't just, you know, you or one person that's going through it. It's the entirety of the collective. We have angel of love here. So definitely the angel of love you can call upon to help to heal yourself, to help heal others and to call them in. We also have women holding a heart. This kind of feels like an attachment energy here. Um, so it's asking you to like let go of the need to hold on so tightly. Um, we have the angel of strength. So call on the angel of strength when you feel this like attachment like creep in. I feel like some of you feminines are kind of like letting go of things at this time to just welcome in whatever's needing up to like come in and to heal whatever's needing to be healed. Um, there is communication though, however, under angel of love. <clears throat> and I see you talking with friends. I see you talking amongst your friends or soul family members. There's three of you here. You're like the master manifestors. This is the number seven, the number of master manifestation, the number of magic. So manifesting magic here, three goddesses. Um, but I'm seeing you talking with your friends here before uh, perhaps divulging to this person how you feel um, because we do have the throat chakra here which is about communication and it's asking you to bring a balance to this communication how you would normally you know divulge information or, or say things is asking you to bring a balance to it and I feel like you will be consulting with your friends before you do this the woman holding a heart and the reason that she's holding on so tightly here is asking you to bring balance to this as well, to this energy. Like I said before. Because I do see you taking action here when it comes to love, but it's asking you to get your shadows in check by zooming out and taking a higher perspective um, and seeing like the broader perspective here on which shadows you still need to heal because we all know we still have shadows to heal and things to heal. So it's asking you to do that. Angel of strength in the reverse and a thinking man. The thinking man has been connecting with his crystals a lot. This also shows the lion, which represents lion's gate, which we are in right now, which is a time and portal of adjacent possibilities and multiple timelines. Um, 
and dimensions that we can tap into, right? So you both have been thinking and contemplating a lot here about this love is what I'm getting. And someone maybe has already professed their love, already spoken what they feel, um, and someone hasn't. Someone maybe is desperately waiting to hear back, or maybe you're both just thinking about this. We have the thinking mad again, you know, coming up. This is the number 10, which is all about completions, new beginnings. This man is definitely receiving something from his crystal. Look at the way he's looking at it. He's holding the crystal in his hand and he's definitely receiving something from it. Perhaps he's receiving a message of strength, inner strength, independence, or the knowingness of truth of himself, his self-worth. But he's doubting it here because this is in the reverse and it's asking him to trust that message. He could be receiving memories from his crystals, advice from his crystals. It's asking him to really trust it. And I think he's starting to get it now. He can access and you can access all these different timelines through your crystals, through the energy work of working with your crystals, also different dimensions. So yeah, there's a lot here. I'm going to pull some Atlantis cards. I feel like divination, like maybe you're masculine. It's asking of courage and strength when it comes to divination or doing some sort of healing practice with his crystals um, or divination or just tapping into his power because there's something there that he's going to be doing, whether it's like light language healing or just healing in general or divination, meaning like tarot cards, things like that. Okay, one of these Atlantis cards wants to come out. Synchronicity. We have a 10 10 portal. 2 plus 8 is 10, 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 10 portal. Remember, I was getting the number 1001 a lot as well. 10 is about completions and beginnings. It's asking you both to go with the divine flow. She has a crystal ring on her finger. And yeah, the flowers are important here. She's receiving messages from feathers and flowers and crystals. There's feathers blowing about the wind that she keeps seeing and roses and whatever flower this is. I can't tell what flower that is. But definitely she's receiving messages from feathers and flowers and he might be sending these synchronicities to her through setting intentions through his crystal to see if she'll come back to him with these specific synchronicities as a way to test this relationship and to find out if she's his actual twin flame. <laughs> wow. Okay. The white hair, hair like the silver hair, Hair is emphasized here. Okay, let's see. Okay. Do you want me to pull another card? You're like, wait, we got more to tell you. <laughs> okay. I just woke up, you guys, so give me a minute. <laughs> the dog is barking. There's definitely a divine emphasis on this specific message that's going to come out. Um, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Nervous for all of y'all. Let's see, in a good way. Excited, we'll say excited. The fridge is going, the train was going, the dog was barking, something just knocked. I don't know if that picked up on the, is it this card? Oracle. C, no, B. There's a lot of silver energy here too. 
I'm not sure if this card wanted to come out, but I'm feeling it did. It's the number 33, and this always comes through one of the readings I'm doing, which is the highest degree of enlightenment. It's also the age of Yeshua or Jesus when he ascended. Um, it's my favorite age <laughs> that I've been alive thus far that I was alive thus far in my life. Um, and I was told I was one of these actually. I was told I was in a past life, one of the oracles of Delphi. So interestingly enough, interestingly enough, Let's see though, let's see what else we get. So this person could definitely be you or them or both of you could do divination or oracle cards or predict the future. You both are seers, you see things, you know things, you are things. Okay, bottom of the deck is marriage. And this says commitment to self and to others which is interesting. It's like a marriage of life, like committing to yourself and then serving others. But it could also technically mean that maybe it could be a change of marriage coming in. Maybe someone here is married. Maybe you are. Maybe you both aren't and you're going to be married or maybe you both are and are going to be married. Just take it how it resonates, okay? We have the dreamer card. So this person, I feel... They've like really wrapped you up here. Like we have attachments and then we have like the red cords here. Look, we have a Native American in a headdress here. The dreamer card. Interesting. We have portals here. We have flying horses. <laughs> Literally. Can you see that flying horses? Portals. A bird, a castle, two ways to go, a wolf howling. So dream to manifest, dream to manifest your reality. But I feel like this person is working with their crystals to send you visions or messages in your dreams. Maybe you both have done this simultaneously, but I feel like recently this person maybe feels like they're receiving dreams or messages from their crystal but it's actually you that's communicating to them through your dreams to them this is like a change so this could be something that's starting now um, or will be starting shortly it's also asking you to dream and manifest through your dreams but i really feel like this this crystal this thinking man is doing stuff with his crystals. <laughs> he really is. This card keeps, like, if you look at it, look at him looking so intently upon his crystal. And then we get this card. So it's like showing me that he's either manifesting through his dreams and his crystals, but I feel like he's sending you specific dreams and things, visualizations of things in your dreams perhaps of flowers and, and feathers, but I feel like these you're getting in your 3D reality, okay? And these you're getting, these dreams, he's trying to send you pictures through the etheric, through your actual dreams while you're dreaming. So maybe flying horses, he's sending maybe pictures of you from past lives, his Native Americans in headdresses, maybe angels. We have an angel here with wings. We have a light being here. That's what I see depicted. We have a bird like the phoenix. Maybe he's sending you a picture of the phoenix. Um, and he's waiting for a validation from you to speak about the dreams that you've been receiving. Or the pictures that you've been receiving in your dreams. And I'm also seeing flowers here. So if he's sending you like roses or carnations or something. Um, a howling wolf. <laughs> palaces, temples, sacred sites, portals. He's waiting on you to like confirm that, that his manifestations are working through this crystal to manifest pictures in the dreams he's sending to you. <laughs> wow. <coughs> this is so intense. Like it's sort of like really hard for me to concentrate right now because these energies are just like 
and the synchronicities, like, I don't know about you guys, but I've been receiving so many synchronicities to the point where I'm just like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, don't even know what to say from like soul family members. I've been getting pictures. I've been getting um, videos. I've been receiving messages. I've been receiving light language messages, like everything. And it's amazing. Like, and it all coincides. Like it's all very synchronistic, you know, so tons of synchronicities back and back to back basically it's like multi multitude multi-dimensional synchronicities i've been receiving from soul family members and even people i don't even know <clears throat> so or have just met <laughs> so it's very like whoo a lot a lot okay i haven't pulled this deck yet i don't think like we have tiktok so like time travel here it could be time traveling to you, maybe sending you visions of maybe they've time traveled and they're sending you visions of what they've seen in your dreams. It's really cool, this card, because I did see a white feather the other day. And then we were driving on the way to my daughter's appointment. And on the truck, it said roses and hydrangeas in huge letters. And that was one of the messages in a past divinely channeled messages video, like from a while ago, from at least a couple weeks ago, but it showed up so big and like caught my attention. And I knew like, wow, that's like meant to come through. Roses and hydrangeas. So we have chaos and conflict and chop wood. So I feel like you felt like all this chaos and conflict, perhaps because we have the number 33 here showing me that you are an oracle. And I feel like the reason these things happened or you placed them in your life was to come and tap into the power that you are, which you are the oracle. And that's why these things happen was to kind of like pull you apart to piece you back together is what I'm getting to help you see the inner light with inside of you. See how there's like an inner light here and it's being pulled apart to be pieced back together. Um, that's your solar plexus too. I feel like instead of like hard work, like I feel like you've worked really hard, definitely. I feel like you've overcome a lot. But I'm feeling like either you need to clean your house, clean your space. You don't have to rely on anyone to rescue you. You have the power to do this yourself. Um, but I feel like you're healing some things with inside of you. Um, you're making a choice here. Or it's asking you to make a choice. And I picked that up in the dreamer card as we had the two uh, things here. Like choosing a path, making a choice. And choosing yourself. Like choosing your own inner light. Tapping into your own inner spark. I want to pull one more card. I'm also getting like... Uh, this message has been coming through a lot. You're tapping into how to work with actual energy and light and perhaps frequency as opposed to like working really hard. You're learning how to tap in and work with actual energy when it comes to manifestation. Not like, of course, there's going to be action that's put into it. And of course, you're going to still have to work but like less because you're working in terms of energy. It's a different kind of work and you're, you're starting to get it. It's starting to catch on and you're starting to trust the knowledge that you're receiving from yourself, your own inner book, your own infinite book of your soul is what I'm getting. And it's really helping you to come to life because you're seeing now your own sacred pool of information, your field of dreams that exists with inside of you and you're getting out of this chaotic energy that you were stuck in because you now you're seeing your spark and you're seeing your worth and you're seeing how you can create all of this amazingness. Okay. I want to pull one more card from this wisdom. Wow. Wow, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You have the choice to stay stuck in a mindset <clears throat> that could be an alternate reality 
or you have the choice to tap into your own inner spark in your own heaven. You always have this choice. Serendipity, bottom of the deck, but it's in the reverse. So good things are coming. She's holding on to luck like she's got the four-leaf clover that's pulling her up. But it's her that's doing this. And it's an energy that you're coming out of, this tumultuous, conflicting energy, and going towards the serendipitous energy. And it's a choice. <clears throat> it's a choice. It's also referring to the relationship. So maybe this relationship is more serendipitous and it's asking you to make a choice. So we have the thinker here and then action. Master number 44. And we have the thinking man, remember? Where did he go? The thinking man. This thinking man. Man, he keeps coming up. Instead of thinking, do. Instead of thinking, do. But do in terms of energy. There's a lot you can do in terms of energy. And sometimes this is more potent and powerful than the actual action itself. So maybe that's what you're thinking about. You're thinking and you're culminating the energy as the action. And perhaps you're waiting to see results, but they will come. It's all a process here. You're both doing the same thing. You're both doing the same thing. You're both overthinking this union coming together. Look, we have the black horse, the white horse, <clears throat> the divine masculine, divine feminine. But look, you're like right there. You know, this soul is eternal with the 17, one plus seven is eight, infinite. So you're both right there. Let me pull, let me pull a star seat card. This is the Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell and the Star Seed um, Oracle. Trust your path, bottom of the deck. Look. Trust your path, bottom of the deck. This says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Boom. This is what you're both thinking about. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? What would Jesus do? I don't know why that just came through, but what would Jesus do? If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? Keep thinking in terms like that. Keep manifesting in terms of energy and then also take action. Now, we have empathic starseed under adjacent possibilities. And look, there's a mirror, so a portal and all these different portals here. And it says energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours so it's asking you to like cut some cords here again letting go of attachments clearing your energy clearing your space inside your vessel outside of your vessel in your home outside of your home you could do this just by setting the intention to do so you can do it with crystals with salt with water this card in the reverse sisterhood of the rose how are you being called to step up and lead i feel like this is obviously a message for the divine feminines how are you being called to step up and lead because this is in the reverse which means you're doubting it and we have sisterhood of the rose and it says beauty and devotion priestess I and mean, your priestess here mystic and teacher so it's calling you to step up and lead and to teach and to like step into your power more, to trust your path and to step into it more and have firmer boundaries. Don't allow people to project their stuff. I mean, of course you can still help people, but don't absorb it as your own because it isn't yours. Do you know what I'm saying? Like just learn a way. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation and creative accountability. Okay, you guys saw that, right? We have dance, do something to shift your vibration. We have unbound, so you're releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Trust the niggle, which is trusting your gut, your intuition. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? 
And then we have soul family in the reverse. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Okay. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Wow. Okay. Can I get one ending card? One ending card. I feel like some of you might be leaving a situation. Going towards your own power. Bottom of the deck, we have Mermaid Merman. Mythical memory, mystical message. I pulled this card for a client recently in a reading, and it talks about um, getting in contact with water and trusting the like memories that you've been receiving. Let me just go over see if anything else pulls. Yeah, you receive messages about tsunamis, floods, storms, and Mother Earth's changes before they happen. Um, they inspired the oracles, and we had the oracle card, to see beyond their psychic insight, which was tarnished by the shadow beams. So you were able to forewarn through the oracles um, of natural events that were to occur so that you could be prepared for impending change but in a positive way and it might be time to also reconnect to water wash away the past and cleanse your consciousness from fear or dread change is inevitable the way you react to change defines you not actually the experience of change itself you will either become a victim of change or a victor of it and this is entirely up to you and saying this today is a potent time for the release of emotions connected to the unexpected changes you have been dealing with. And I urge you to use your tears, water, in a positive manner to let go of the built up emotion. Also, you may be on the verge of an unforeseen change and I encourage you to prepare for this by keeping your energy field strong and invoking a forceful mind. This change will prove positive in the long run, but you need to see beyond any short term challenges. And the mantra you can use for that card, the mermaid card, is I allow positive changes to influence my life. So they were um, accepted within the community, the mermaids were, and well known as messengers of Mother Nature's prophecy. So they were wonderful mystical beings with an instinctual knowing of all things aquatic. Do you remember that you were a merperson too? And your existence has stemmed from many lifetimes. Um, you've been incarnated in many forms, not just human. Um, let's see, infinite realms of possibilities, and we have adjacent possibilities here. Your soul has explored and continues to explore. Um, let's see, was there anything else here? Yeah, they warned the people of Atlantis of the impending doom. The mermaids and mermen were an aquatic society who had an innate connection to water and could foresee tsunamis, floods, storms, and Mother Earth's changes well before the Atlanteans themselves. So I had to speak that again. They wanted me to. So, yeah. Definitely an oracle. Like, they helped the oracles. So talk about psychic intuition. Like, this is insane. And, like, we have a male and a female. So perhaps both you and your twin are mermaids, mermen. Damn. We also have karma here, bottom of the deck. Life is a mystical mirror, and we have that mirror here with the empathic star seed. So facing your own shadow and light and healing that. I feel like you're breaking out of karma, however, though, because we have the unbound card. You're coming out of this. Galactica. Oh, my God. Look at this card. I love this card. Galactica. Disclosure is closer than you think. Holy shit. If you haven't seen any of my Starseed readings, I highly encourage you to watch the last one. It was messages about money, love, abundance coming from the Arcturians, and it has many activations in there. And it's about love as well, like Twin Flame as well. There's also a huge Twin Flame activation towards the end at 52 minutes. But the reading's kind of long. It is an hour and 20 minutes, but it's jam-packed full of amazing activations and things that we'll need for New Earth and to enhance our going forward. Um, so I highly recommend watching it. I'll have it linked down below in the description box and also pinned in the comments down below. Galactica. like So this is like light beings. This is ET. Also, if you've never purchased a Starseed reading with me, I highly, highly recommend it as your soul will... Be so happy that you did because it's like the soul recognizing itself or oneself 
Um, and just to throw a disclaimer out, I highly recommend doing um, stargazing before you do so, so you can connect to the stars that you feel drawn to. There's an app on your phone called Skyview Light where you can take a screenshot of those stars or constellations and see how you connect with them, write them down. And then um, if you're looking to validate that or see what other star systems you're from, definitely purchase a star seed reading with me. And if you're interested, email me at kimberkiss28 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to send you a coupon off towards that because I want as many people to get brought back and connected to their star seed origins is very, very important, especially at this time. Coming through, coming in hot. So with this card, Galactica, I'm going to read this card to complete the reading. Disclosure is closer than you think. So the Oracle Purpose. So this card has been chosen by your soul today with purpose and on purpose to disclose once and for all your connection to the star realms beyond Earth. Literally what I was just saying. Also, I've done hundreds upon hundreds of these readings. If you want to check out my reviews, I have almost 100, review, 100 reviews on my Etsy shop that you can go through and see the Starseed Origins ones. Um, and yeah, I've done hundreds of them and it's what I'm here to do. It's one of my biggest passions. I am a connector to the Rainbow Bridge, and I am a Starseed Bridger, so I'm here to connect Starseeds back to their galactic origins. It's what I'm here to do. It's one of my main purposes, but I have many purposes here. So this card has been chosen by your soul today with purpose and a purpose to disclose once and for all your connection to the star realms beyond Earth. The oracle meaning, you are Galactica. Galactica is you. Atlanteans had a strong affinity with the star realms and understood they were universal beings who had traveled from the stars to colonize on Earth. Do you remember your galactic history? And that's another thing the Starseed reading will do is activate memories and help you to recall where you came from before you incarnated here and to connect back with your star family and beings of light. Oracle overall message, you are not merely born of the earth, you are a being of the universe, one connected to the timelessness of Galactica. Remember we got the TikTok card and the patience card with the clock on her solar plexus and time travel, so there you go. This card discloses conclusively your connection to star beings, interplanetary intelligence, cosmic creations, and encourages you to realize the link between all of these, plus your earth self and Atlantis self. Galactica might be seen as your higher self or miracle self, who is limitless, boundless, unbound, limitless, boundless, and infinite, always existing at full divine potential. She or he knows everything about you and should be seen as your ultimate spirit guide. You have chosen this card today with a strong need to be reconnected to Galactica at this prestigious time on the planet. It will not be until you integrate fully with your higher self and trust to be guided from that deep knowing within. Will you be completely happy in every area of your life? So this is your sphere guide and it will not be until you integrate fully with your higher self and trust to be guided from that deep knowing within. Will you be completely happy in every area of your life? I need to repeat that because I felt that was very important. Oracle message for today. There is a need to connect to your higher self. Start by choosing to be quiet each day. This is giving me chills because I literally had um, Janet, she um, messaged me some light language with the name of my higher self in it, like literally through the light language and I was in shock, <laughs> but not in shock because she's very intuitive, psychic, so would definitely connect, but amazing. Okay, so this is just validation of that and an activation for you to receive, to connect to your higher self. There's a need to connect to your higher self. Start by choosing to be quiet each day so that with purpose, you can hear your inner voice speak. This is an opportune time to begin regular meditation classes as well as to be with like-minded people who want to connect to their higher self too. Also, I encourage you to become a stargazer and get out at night. Lie flat on your back on the ground and stare at the stars. In ancient days, they used the stars to gain wisdom and did so from staring at the blackness of the sky. So put down the technology of modern times and regularly use the galactic engineering, AKA the night sky, that is available to you each and every evening. You will feel much happier when you do.
Wow. And I've gotten that message to lay out flat in the night sky according to the stargazing or star bath card in this Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. The Oracle mantra is, I am one with my higher self. Whew. So, so many amazing potent messages came through this reading. And like I said, I highly recommend the Starseed Origins reading with me. All in due time when you feel called to do that in divine timing. Trust when it feels right. You will know. And when you feel that urge, just email me at kimbercus28 at gmail.com so I can send you a coupon off towards that because I'd like to help you with that. And this card is amazing. So make sure you're getting out at night and stargazing and connecting in the quiet of the night sky to your higher self. Super important. I love you all so really much. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. I look at you as actual people and friends and soul family members, not just followers, not just subscribers. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you do. I post a lot of even more divine information and activations on there. It's at Kimberkiss underscore cosmic underscore queen on Instagram. And also make sure to give this a like, comment down below, letting me know how this resonated for you. Again, I will leave the Arcturian reading, the Arcturian Starseed downloads that I received. It's an hour and 20 minute reading that I normally would charge for. I'll have it linked down below. I highly recommend everyone watching this reading when you feel called to it or even now, like after this reading, because I feel like there's activations in there that will really help you. And there's one specifically for the Twin Flame connection and I really feel it'll help your journey. I know it will. So check that out. It's at 52 minutes in, in that reading. And I'll have it linked and marked down below and also in the comments pinned. Um, and what else? If you wouldn't mind sharing this video out by hitting the little arrow, copying and texting, DMing or emailing this reading to five to 10 friends or family members or anyone you know going through the Twin Flame journey as I feel the messages will definitely benefit them. And thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, guys and gals, I will talk to you soon. Bye now.